Nemo, here is a look at one of your runs from this past weekend. We kind of call this your baseline uh, free ski uh, slalom. And it's something we can look back at at the end of the year, kind of compare some, uh, you know, later videos and see all the changes and improvements. Let's check it out. Hey, Nemo, go ahead. Slalom turns. Good job, Nemo. Like I said, yeah, that was a good job. Let's check it out. Now, I know, you know, it's a little bit tricky because we're not going fast yet, and it's a little steeper that we kind of just, uh, you know, kind of skid the skis around uh, as opposed to carving. But it's something we're going to work on. We're going to, you know, we need to carve turns on the steeps along, uh, as opposed, you know, besides just the flats now. Carving turns when you ski clean and carving it, and you go faster. So, you know, we have to make sure we're controlling our speed by turn shape, making complete turns. And you are making complete turns here. They're just just skidded. But the good thing is, is you are square down the hill, level shoulders, and got a pole plant. So there's a lot of good things going on here. One thing we got to uh, work on is, is get rid of this little, uh, the V. Um, so a little divergence, scissoring the V. And you got skis going in both directions. So kind of cheating a little bit, trying to get the turn started on the inside ski. Uh, you can see the inside one is obviously flat, which so you're kind of twisting it. Uh, and it's pretty much prevalent in most of your turns. I'm guessing you don't even realize you're doing this. Uh, you can see the outside ski rolled up, inside one flat, already twisted in the direction, and then you kind of match them. So how do we get rid of that? Well, um, we roll up both skis at the top of the turn. If you rolled them up, if you took that inside knee and rolled it, as we've been talking all day uh, Sunday, uh, you know, to the inside, using ankle, ankles and knees to roll up both to matching high angles, high edge angles, then you couldn't, you couldn't twist it. You couldn't twist it in that direction, right? Your ski, if you took your knees, inside knee also, and, and pushed it this way, rolled it up, I mean, your other ski would just be matching your outside one, and both would carve out this way and come back underneath you. Now we want to have our weight on the outside ski. And at this point, I think you already know the outside one is here, but the inside one should be matching it, um, both in angles and its direction. Direction meaning, you know, it should be right here. So it should end up looking like, a, you know, Kind of like a pair of railroad tracks to keep the same width going all you know, identically. A little better there, but you can see it's it's pretty much always there. So let's really focus on that, rolling both up, committing to the outside ski, trusting yourself and your skis. They will arc out and come back underneath you. But again, nice and square, level, pole plant. Some really good stuff going on here. Let's take a look here from the side, and I think you're going to see some ankle flexion. This is one of our big focuses of this day. And 
and will be our focus <laughs> all year. Um, and you got a little bit there. That's pretty good. Uh, you can see here, because we talked about how we want to have our shins, both of them matching, going down that way. Right? Um, could it be a little bit more? Yeah, maybe. But that's not a bad start. So let's just continue to think about driving knees, you know, to the skis, to the tip of the skis, pushing us in front of the boot. One thing on occasion, and maybe hit something there, but it does happen on occasion with you, is kind of a bigger lead change like that. We call it lead change. Inside foot gets too far forward of the outside, which then we lose all the ankle flexion and we're in the back seat. So let's make sure we we don't let that happen. You know, inside foot's got to be a little bit ahead, but you're about a boot length right now. And we want you know, max probably half a boot length. Because as soon as that inside foot gets ahead, it's going to push us. We lose ankle flexion on the inside foot. It pushes us into the back seat. So pull your inside foot back. Make sure they're closer to matching. But overall, some good skiing. So we're going to work on, on increasing. It's, it's good ankle flexion, but we can do a little bit more. I'm going to get rid of that, that V, that scissoring, by rolling up the inside ski up on edge at the same time as, as the outside one, but pressure on the outside ski. And we're going to, uh, you know, kind of get rid of that uh, lead change or the inside foot getting too far forward by pulling it back. Pull it back and tip it up. But uh, otherwise, a lot of fun having you. Some great skiing. And looking forward to a fun winter.